Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your Night in Shining Armor, or Night HD, or Ollie Childs, whatever the hell you want to call me, that's me. But guys, today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Destiny video. Uh, this is going to be how to solo the bridge on Crota. Now, as I'm saying that, you guys see me reviving a friend right here. Um, pretty much, he's only here to help me take out the sword bear a little bit quicker because I don't want to be here all day. And I've already done the raid a couple of times in the same period that I was recording this right here. So, you know, I just kind of wanted to get this over with. I saw it, and I thought about it, and I needed to test it out, and it worked perfectly, so I decided to make a video on it to let you guys know. But guys, like I said, you guys can do this with all classes that Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. I decided to do it on my Hunter because he's my main, and, you know, you can really not do this with a Hunter any other way, <laughs> or it's difficult to do it. So... Basically, what you want to do here is take out the sword bearer. As you can see, I'm using my icebreaker. Definitely one of the best exotics in the game. I got this from Zer a couple weeks back. If you guys don't have the icebreaker, I feel sorry for you guys. I really do. But anyway, guys, right here I'm taking out the sword bearer, and you do not want to go the way I'm going right here. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I'm trying to climb this wall thing, getting messed up by all these thralls. But guys, for this you need the gunslinger super. Uh, charge and you need to have triple jump so here you go you run straight to this bridge jump three times at the height of a jump swing your sword twice and then swing it to this left area right here diagonally it's really hard to describe but you guys can see in the video right there swing your sword and you want to it's gonna it might take you a couple tries but you want to get up on this little ledge right here after you've gotten up there now guys if you did have a tough time seeing that I d highly recommend you rewinding the video and watching it again right here guys you're gonna just see me going back to my blade dancer so that I can go invisible when I jump up here even though I mess up and knife and then I go not invisible anymore I just didn't want to get mugged uh, when I was up here but yeah guys once you are up here you pretty much just cheesed it or glitched it whatever you want to call it uh, like I said definitely recommending you guys to go back and watch the video maybe take it step by step or s a little bit slower so you guys can see exactly how I did it it took me a couple of tries I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit difficult but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy now guys, pretty much the whole rest of the time, all that you need to worry about once you're on this side is the totems to make sure they don't go dark, and if they do, not dark, red. And if they do, then definitely just stand under them a little bit and they'll go back to being normal and you can take out things. So every now and then you know, just check over to the totems, I'm not sure if that happened to me just because I had a buddy with me or not, but whatever nevertheless guys after that you can just take out the ogres and the wizards which I did so guys I'm gonna show you guys that too but I'm gonna be fast forwarding that a little bit so you guys can see that um yeah guys with that being said I'm your guys Night in Shining Armor I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it taught you a little bit if you guys did enjoy and it did teach you something definitely like the video and comment down below I love reading and replying to all those comments thanks for watching again subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in another video bye